Not only does a little leaf matter, but every leaf is invested with divine life, created with a specific purpose within Hashem's intention of creation. And in every leaf, there is a bit of a nefesh, a spark of life that is descended on earth to find correction and fulfillment. Every single detail does matter. And what about you and me? I'm going to prove to you that in world history, we know that Hashem cares about the tiny little details, the actions that people do. Hashem actually judges and looks closely, like under a magnifying glass. For example, Sodom and Amorah, there are different nations that actually had an Averis quantity, and then their punishment kicked in, and then the city was destroyed. Another example, rewards and punishments to Yidin for certain actions. On a general level, for the whole entire nation, that Hashem promised, I'll lengthen your days in the land, and also on a specific level, to every single person. For example, Hashem gave a bracha to Yitzchak, that he would reduce a field a hundred times the normal amount. So Hashem is clearly judging the nation and the individual's deeds. If Hashem is judging it, then he is most certainly aware of it, down to the detail. But now let's take the question broader. What about animals, plants, and everything else in the world? Does Hashem care about them in great detail, or just in kind of a general way? It's easy to understand that Hashem has a broad approach and sees a general species, and the general species of creation is important. That would be called Hashkacha Klalit, a broad, general view. What about Hashkacha Pratit, down to the detail? down to the tiny little leg of a tiny little creature and the tiny little crumb that it's carrying across a particular segment of wood. Is that detail really important? And yes, it is. We used to view the world in a broader sense that, oh, Hashem made the world, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, investment in every tiny detail, it matters. It's not a joke. It matters. Every speck. If Hashem wasn't involved in your stapler on your desk, then something exists outside of Hashem. That would mean that there are things that are part of Hashem and the stapler is a separate show. No way! In other words, the world needs Hashem and Hashem needs to know the world. Finally, I would like you to think about Kriyas Yamsuf. It was a huge miracle. Now compare it to creating the world. Was that easier or harder for Hashem? And define that miracle. Was this something created yesh mi yesh, Or was it something that happened yesh mi ayin? Let me know your thoughts in comments, in email, or in person. To recap, every single detail of this universe is specific down to the prat. That's why it's hashkacha pratis, prat. Even your stapler is part of achtos Hashem. Hashem's creation relies on nothing else, unlike human creation that does rely on something else being yesh miyesh. And finally, please do this before you come into class. Write three sentences in response to the question, how does your appreciation of Ashkacha practice deepen once you are aware of creation of something from nothing, the every moment maintenance system of the universe? Thanks for watching. To learn more about the topic of Achtas Hashem, watch another one of our videos or hit up the source with a look at Parak Bays of Shari Chavah Hamuna. Sagazan. Can you use any of the videos that are on